Well, just, just speaking from personal experience, uh, I, I met with uh, parents of my students who were as committed to, to their kids' education as my parents were to mine. Um, I also met with a few parents who, um, if they had $400 to spend, would, would first spend it on a North Face jacket for their kid, uh, far and above getting them books. Um, and, and I had parents who uh, thought that uh, if it was raining, that was uh, a proper reason for their kid to not go to school that day, just because there was rain out. Um, and it was a mix, you know, and, and um, you know, for, for all the kids whose parents were just as committed as mine were, it's, it, you know, you really want to focus on whether the public school is providing, is doing them justice, is doing those kids and their parents justice. And then for the students, you know, whose, uh, whose parents would buy a North Face jacket before they would buy their kid a book, it, it, it um, does show the challenge because in, in those situations, public schooling can only do so much if the kid is going to, you know, home uh, to a place that doesn't really value uh, homework and education. Well, I think there really are some public schools, incredibly successful public schools, that are inculcating a real um, educational ethic in their students. Um, uh, KIPP schools would be just a shining example of uh, schools where students um, aren't just uh, given homework and, and taught in imaginative ways, but they're really brought into a culture of, of education. Um, so if, if KIPP's any indication, there, there are times when um, the school can provide at least some of the educational ethic that, that every student needs if they're going to go home and actually do their homework.